All right, once you have your Proving Ground creature scape saved, saved both as a PSD, which will save all of your different layers, and then as a PNG, Save it to my Proving Ground 1 folder. Then you're going to post it to Canvas. But keep it open in Photoshop because you're going to need the image information to meet all the requirements of this particular post. So this is an assignment where you actually are asked to write something underneath to meet the Proving Ground requirements. And you can see all those criteria here in the assignment. So we have to identify the resolution and the physical format and whether it's going to be screen resolution or print resolution, which are the two main types of digital art resolution. So to start it, I just hit reply underneath. I write my name. I navigate to find my creature scape assignment. So proving ground number one. And I can view it, make sure it's what I want. Very nice. That looks good. And I'm going to upload it and embed it in the image so we can critique it next class. Drag and drop it in. Hit submit. If you're only able to attach it because you're doing it on a phone or somewhere else, I can I can always download it and make it visible for our critique. Next class. I'm going to just resize it a little bit smaller. Remember, whatever you post, your creature should should be very recognizable within it. So you might even crop down to around your creature. Okay, now underneath it, there are some requirements, and you can see the past examples. So the first requirement is to acknowledge its size and its resolution. So that's number one. So to accurately identify its resolution, I need to go to Photoshop, have the file open, and go to Image, Image Size. And there it will tell me the pixel dimensions. This is 5,000 by 4,000 you know, and change pixels. But I'm asking you to change that into the nomenclature that makes sense. So you have two options. Either it can be print resolution, which is 300 pixels per inch, or it can be screen resolution, which is 72 pixels per inch. Whichever larger of those two you have, as long as the image is at least 8 by 10 inches, that's what I want you to use. So Mine is actually 16 by 11 inches by 350 pixels per inch. So this could be printed very large, which is fantastic. But in order to, to answer the criteria that's being asked for, it, professional standard minimum print resolution, which is 300, I'm going to uncheck resample and type in 300 instead of 350. You'll notice that my pixels do not change, but the physical print size does change because I changed now the resolution output to 300 pixels per inch instead of 350, which I had before. So I'm going to round up here. It's 18.947 inches. So I'm going to say 19 inches. By, you usually give the horizontal first, by 13.6 inches. Now that doesn't mean much. That's its physical format. So 19 inches by 13.6 inches as the physical format is what it would professionally print to. That's the size. But then I also need to say what its resolution is. So I say at 300 pixels per inch, 
PPI. And then the second part of that first criteria is to identify which of the two main types of digital art resolution is your creaturescape size for. And mine is 300 pixels per inch at larger than 8 by 10. So this is a good example of print resolution. The next requirement is to write and explain how my creature is intended to interact with its environment, accounting for the atmosphere and practical concerns. How does your creature breathe, shelter, and eat in this environment? So as I was building this and kind of identifying all the different aspects that I had to make match, I was thinking about how, what is this creature doing in this moment? How does it relate? I can also give a name to my creature. So I'm going to call this creature a hedge mouse. And let's see, how would I describe this environment? This hedge mouse, did I said hedge mouse? Yeah. Let's do it. Survives in the lowland. So I'll say the hedge mouse or this hedge mouse survives in the misty lowlands by being carefully attuned to threats. So it uses its sensitive ears All right, so this hedge mouse survives in the misty lowlands by using its sensitive ears to monitor th threats from predators while staying attuned to the slightest sound that its next meal, an insect or lizard, might make. The heavy atmosphere of water vapor masks its scent, and its quills and poisonous spores also deter direct attack while allowing it to naturally camouflage in the brush. So that meets all the requirements of the proving ground. It places the creature believably in the landscape, matching its anatomy and the angle of position to the terrain, matching the lighting, the direction, the, the temperature, the cast shadows to the environment. And then noting the physical resolution format that allows for it to either be print resolution at 300 pixels per inch or screen resolution at 72 pixels per inch. And then it's describing how these qualities uh, help conceptually the creature to exist in that environment rather than just visually showing that we're really thinking through the problem and coming up with solutions. All right, then we post it. And that is our first proving ground. And that is it.